Greetings folks, this will be my very first flight with Arja Pilot uh, and I've got it on the Matek H743 board which isn't supported by iNav just yet, only by Arja Pilot. Um, so I had to learn Arja Pilot to be able to use this board, now I can. We've got the CAN bus uh, GPS on the top there, mounted in here we've got the buzzer, let's turn the buzzer on too. All right, we're ready to go. Throttle One of the things you have to learn about RG Pilot, uh, especially RG Plane, is that it only uses one channel for all the modes. So you have to work out uh, how to divide that channel up into six different um, segments so that you can assign a mode to each different segment. And I've done done it uh, via two switches this is the main mode switch i've got amber telling me what mode uh, i'm using i set up some logical switches to do that uh, i'm using inav terms rather than rg pilot terms because uh, amber knows inav better than rg pilot so we have acro mode. mode up the top angle mode. and then switch that to angle mode, acro mode. or fly by wire a manual mode, manual mode. altitude hold uh, and fly by wire b Loiter mode, return to launch. and return to launch. Okay, ready now. I've done a quick test flight, trimmed it out in manual mode. Interestingly, I'm needing the left aileron up and right down for some reason. This is in manual mode, so let's do a line of sight and just um, check that everything works. Wind is wafting around. We'll just go this way, this way. Launching in manual mode. Getting up to some height, that's flying nice and level. Okay, acro, acro mode. mode. It's not actually acro, acro. it's more like a, a gentle angle mode in uh, INAV terms. It, it is self-leveling. You have to hold the stick if you want to hold the turn. Do some FPV soon. Okay, manual mode. Manual mode. Return to launch. It's powering up. Uh, don't know what height it's going at. I think I changed the radius to 50 meters. Maybe the height to 50 meters. I can't remember. But that's circling around me nicely, just like a return to home should. All right, I'm happy. Let's do some FPB. Good test plane, the old Ranger G2, because there's plenty of access inside. It's such a mild flyer and tough enough to handle it. Throttle active. And we're away in manual mode. You can adjust the OSD but uh, it's not a visual adjustment, it's all um, uh, it's all by changing the numbers, uh, so it's it's a wee bit more uh, technical setting this up than it is in INAV. We can do it just by dragging things around the screen. Uh, I'm using a Mac and Q ground control, which doesn't give you a, 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 a graphical OSD setup, uh, but that's going beautifully. Stabilise mode there. Angle mode. Oh, so there we go. Fly by wire A now. Where's their altitude? 36 metres. Cruising around. Altitude hold. Fly by wire B. Just wanted to tilt out, tilt out to the left for some reason. Oh, I need to get my trim for uh, manual and uh, stabilised sorted out, don't I? Oh, my battery's pretty low. 
let's do a bit more trim anyway. So let's do a loiter mode. mode. Loiter doesn't seem to want to work. Oh yeah, here we go, loitering. That's nice and gentle. Takes can chair, can control of the throttle, 100% throttle. Does it really do that? Oh, we're getting a bit Altitude low. Hold. Right, we'll bring it home. Put a new battery in if we can make it. Altitude hold. Angle mode. Acro mode. Angle mode. Altitude and we're down. Angle mode. Acro mode. Ran out of juice. So we're up and away. Let's go to stabilised mode. Very pleasant way to fly around. It is self-leveling. It is maintaining altitude pretty well. Climbing a little bit, which is cool. Manual, Manual mode. I'm finding it's tilting over to the left for some reason. Um, Acro mode. But it seems to me that it's the manual mode that's wrong, not the stabilised mode. Anyway, looks like we're flying in stabilised mode. Manual, manual mode, mode, return, to, return launch. to launch. So return to launch, it does take control of the throttle, flies back home. What height, I wonder, we'll find out. Looks like 50 metres. Circling around me at around 50 metres, 52 metres, that's pretty cool. Manual. All right. Let's try a loiter. Fly out in the middle of the field and do a loiter. Angle mode. Altitude hold. Loiter, loiter now. Mode. Gentle turn. Should loiter around that spot at the altitude that the loiter was engaged. Yeah, it's doing that. It does a good job. Fly by wire B, which is effectively altitude hold. Angle. Chopper coming, so I'm going down. Oh well, so this is good anyway. Enjoying this. Seems to be working very well. Now let's talk about the setup. Uh, I'm using the CAN bus GPS, so I had to tell um, RG Pilot. I had to select the CAN style GPS in the RG Pilot and there's uh, the information you need is on the Maytech website. So there's about four different parameters you need to enter. The thing about RG Pilot, you spend all your time sort of searching for a parameter, changing it, then saving it. So it's a bit more like using the CLI in INAV. And uh, use that same those same parameters uh, parameter list to uh, set up the serial inputs because uh, they are all wrong, and the servo outputs as well. So you search for servo one, put the throttle on that. Search for servo three, select aileron for that, etc. etc. And the serial inputs, you search for serial one, serial two, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and yeah, it's a bit of fun working out where I had to put what. And I think INAV sort of assumes you're going to put things on certain inputs. Uh, it doesn't seem to be as flexible fl as switching them around, as far as I could see anyway. But this is flying beautifully stable. It is a windless day, a rare windless morning. Um, I'll have to work out the difference between stabilised mode and uh, 
So that's wiggling the sticks. I should do an auto tune too, shouldn't I, at some stage? Stabilize mode. Fly by wire A just seems. Oh no, it's, it's less. St Stabilize mode, you have more control. There you go. Still self leveling though. Oh yes, yeah, so stabilise is more like acro, but with a bit of self-leveling thrown in. Now the problems I was having were because uh, I'm on a Mac, so I can't use Mission Control, but all the uh, good tutorials uh, refer to Mission Control, or Mission Planner, sorry. Uh, I'm using Q Ground Control. I did try APM Planner, but it, there were so many screens missing, or uh, parameter selection areas that just weren't there in the Mac version for some reason. Uh, so I'm using Q ground control and that was uh, that was easier. It's taken me quite a few attempts to get started with Arju Pilot. I stopped and started many times. I just couldn't get my head around the basics. Coming from iNav, the first thing I wanted to do was set up the serial ports and I just wasn't obvious where to do that. And then the mixer, but you know, there is no mixer. You sort of select from a list, basically, for each servo. And ArduPilot seems more geared to uh, having a ground station and uh, doing autonomous missions and, and tracking on your ground station at the time. So uh, not a lot of the tutorials are geared towards setting up Mavlink and ground stations and waypoints and things like that. But uh, I just wanted to... Um, use it for general flying around basically yeah, so yeah it's working well I like it so there we have the Matek H743 wing with the CAN bus GPS running ArduPilot and that was my first flight and it was very nice uh, I can't say I'm going to switch to ArduPilot totally anytime soon. I still understand iNav a lot, lot better. Uh, but anyway, that was a good first start. I can actually say I use ArduPilot now. Thanks for watching.